No one in life is coming to save you in your current situation. You have to make the best of what's going on for you and deal with it. Welcome back to another episode, family. Afro Senpai here. Today, we are talking about having an unbeatable mindset. Let's go. So I'm going to be doing a fuller story on the real estate deal that I did this summer. There was a point where I thought the deal wasn't going to go through the way I wanted it to based off of funding. Long story short, things eventually worked out. But I got to a place where I was like, I lost. I lost. I can't believe I lost. I can't believe this is not going to work out in my favor. I felt as though I had an opportunity to do something and it's not working out the way I wanted it to. And I was I was outside stacking wood because I had to I had to clear my head. So I went outside and I was moving wood and I was thinking to myself, this is what you asked for, right? I could very well be playing video games at night. I could very well be watching old episodes of shows that I've already seen. I could be doing all that, but no. I specifically told myself that I want a lifestyle where I don't have to worry about money. And within that lifestyle of not having to worry about money, I have to put in hard work. I have to put in more work than the average person. The goals I plan to accomplish will not come easy, nor do I want them to come easy. To achieve what I want to achieve, I have to do more. Within doing more, there will be setbacks, there will be hardships. And that is something that I am putting upon myself. And when I broke it down to myself like that, I basically said, how can we turn a current situation into something good? Every time we are hit with a perceived hardship, I feel like there's a lesson that we can learn and then there's a way to manipulate the situation so we can get something beneficial out of it. So I started hyping myself up. I kept the mindset going of, is this truly what you want? Do you wanna quit right now? Cause we can quit right now. That's the easy way out. Oh, this is too hard. This is too difficult. It didn't work out for me the way I wanted it to this time. So let me go ahead and quit. That's not what I'm about. So I said, Pick your head up, stop feeling sorry for yourself. No one in life is coming to save you in your current situation. You have to make the best of what's going on for you and deal with it. Yeah, it sucks right now, but I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna keep working hard until what affected me isn't even relevant. So I had the mindset that even if it looks like there's no way out, I'm still going to win. No matter what obstacle is put in front of my face, I will knock it down and come out on top every single time. Like Jay-Z said, the only person who can stop me is me. The only person who can stop me from achieving the goals that I want to accomplish within my lifetime is this guy. So we've heard, we've heard this kind of idea about it's not how many times you get knocked down, but it's about how many times you get back up. That's all you have to do is get back up. What so I'm going to leave you with one of the quotes that I thought of about having goals. Life cannot upset you with the small stuff when you're always thinking long term, okay? What happens today is irrelevant. Pick yourself up, move on. You have something, you have something in your mind that's uh, one year, five years, 10 years out. 
how can you be upset with what's going on today when you're already thinking five steps ahead? Don't sweat that small stuff. If you've heard something today that you appreciate, you're going to take with you, comment below what it is so more people can benefit from that. If you are so inclined, remember to like and subscribe to the channel so we can help the family grow. Please remember to smile because you are beautiful. Peace. When you have goals, shut up, cat. Hey, hey, I'm trying to speak here. I'm dropping knowledge.